Hi everyone, my name is Adam, this is PCP Media, and if this is your first time here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you care about firearms and freedom. Okay guys, so breaking news out of Virginia is that HB 961 failed in the State Senate Judiciary Committee. Now. Uh, for those of you who only vaguely are aware of this or not necessarily aware of this, you just know everyone in Virginia is pissed off and ready to have a boogaloo. Um, HB 961 was the assault rifle ban that would have also have limited magazines to 12 rounds, uh, banned bump stocks, and suppressors in the state of Virginia. So, it was tabled 10 to 5. They will vote on this again next year in 2021. But what they decided to do was that since everyone was uh, ready for a boogaloo uh, over this, they just said, you know what, we'll table this till next year. Hopefully everyone, you know, it, all the fervor dies down. Everyone forgets. They go back to watching football and drinking beer and, and uh, lull back to sleep after the election is over. That is what they're hoping for. Now, what needs to happen, obviously, is that in 2020, there needs to be a whole new uh, legislature in Virginia. It needs to go back to conservatives. So while this massive bill has been tabled, it will be voted on again next year, which means that this election that is upcoming will have consequences. It also means you still need to stay awake and watch everything else that they, these tyrants are doing in the state of Virginia. A few of the people commented, uh, Democratic Senator Luis Lewis said uh, everyone was a bunch of wimps. Yes, and then before the bill failed, Sec Virginia Secretary of Public Safety and Homeland Security, Brian Moran, oh, I'm sorry, Moran, underscored the resolve some Democrats have to get an assault weapons ban done. He said Americans do not have a right to own such firearms under the Constitution. Assault weapons are not protected by the Second Amendment because they are weapons of war. Well, actually, if you look at United States versus Miller, uh, a gentleman uh, lost his court case because he had a, what was a sawed-off shotgun, which, because that was not in common military use, he wasn't allowed to have it per the Constitution. So, if you use that, that heavily implies our constitutional right as Americans to weaponry actually literally is only firearms that are used by a military. Think about that for a minute. So that means actually NFA is a little bit illegal there. Hmm, hmm, well we already know that anyways. However, that is a conversation for a different day. This battle has been won, but you must remain vigilant. Freedom can disappear overnight. Just passing one little law can make you a felon overnight. Many Virginians uh, are well aware of this right now, and it will be coming to your state too. I'm Adam, this is PCP Media. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this content, please hit that like, please hit that subscribe if you haven't already, and please support me on Patreon as well. You can look at the header up above and find the link. Thank you very much. Deuces.